everybody, I'm Starla. I'm it. And we are Our, our Fan Place, Place Games. Games. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome back to another we week. Here. Yes. We here. We yes. here. And one of us got a haircut. Yes, I did. A second haircut. Well, yeah, I had to I had to shave off all yeah. that. I had too much on top of my hair. You were getting a little too poofy. Too much hair. You were getting poofy. Too much hair. Yes. So I had to get rid of it. And it took forever. Yeah, well, you know, you have to find the right barber. Mm -hmm. You know, in the black community, our barber thing is a whole lot complicated. Mm -hmm. So, you know, had to find the right barber, yeah. right shop, and we did. So, you know. Yes. So we did. At least we so. hope so. We hope so. <laughs> well, the first cut was cool. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, yeah. Yeah, well, first cut was cool. I'm, I'm yeah. happy you got a haircut this week. Haircut. You needed it. Yes, because you kept calling me, you know, my hair was all messy. You're like, Mick, Mick, get like, your hair. <laughs> Your hair make. I'm like, when yeah, you, I know. When you start putting on a cap to yeah. try to make the hair flatten yeah. down, it's just time to cut it. I know. I don't know what you're holding on I to know. it for. I, I don't know. know. I don't know. But this week, yes. we have had a busy week. Woo! Lots of stuff going on, as Lots always. Of stuff. We always yes. got stuff going on. But that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yes. Yeah. You know, there's a saying, an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Yeah, we don't want no devil yeah, workshop going. We don't ain't want no, no time devil here. workshop no, working. The devil ain't no. in our mind because we are not idle. No, we're not idle. No, no, no. Yeah, so we've got a great show for you yes. today. We're going to talk about building community. Always. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And then we're going to do a recap on yes. the game night that we had and talk about the community that we're building here in Omaha and maybe give some suggestions on how you can do the same in your community. Yeah, because we got some really cool and interesting comments yes, yeah. about that building community. And, you know, I think people are recognizing this must be done. Yes. It has to be done to yes. build community with everybody mm -hmm. included. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Now, before we get into all of that good stuff, yes. let's hear a word from our awesome sponsors. Come on! Cephala Fair Games. Yes. And KTBG. Let's do it, family. Cephala Fair Games is on a quest to make super amazing games that minimize randomness and reward player savvy. Their big claim to fame is their legacy-style dungeon crawler, Gloomhaven, and other games in the universe, such as Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion, Founders of Gloomhaven, Gloomhaven Forgotten Circles, and their latest entry into the world, Frosthaven, which is an even bigger adventure. Cephala Fair Games has expanded into new and exciting spaces, such as comics, video games, and audio. Bring the fantasy to life with Cephala Fair Games. Have a blast with your family and friends with games from Kids Table Board Gaming. They have a variety of games to choose from, such as Power Plants, Creature Comforts, Rec Raiders, and Fossilus. These games bring the fun to the table. KTBG is making casual games for the serious gamers and serious games for the casual gamers. To view all the games in their catalog, visit KidsTableBG.com. Yes, yes. Now, I just want to remind your family that they have an RPG, a role-playing game coming out that's going to be set in the Gloomhaven universe. Mm -hmm. So you get to play all up in the world and stuff. Yeah. Now, we already did the, you know, the, you know, the game, mm -hmm. but now the role-playing game, you get to be somebody in that world. Okay. I'm kind of excited about that. Are you? you know, yeah, a okay. little bit. Because, you know, I did D&D long ago. Yes. You know, so I, I, I'm in that, mm. you know, I can still do that stuff. Okay. So it, it'll be interesting. Now, that is coming out on Backer Kit on June 20th, family. So definitely take a look out for that. Definitely. Yes. Now, KTBG, yes. we've been talking about Dice Veggies. Yes, we have. That they're going to uh, release at Gen Con. Yes. And I saw a picture mm -hmm. of the little dice. That they're going to be chopping yes, up. and the cleaver. Yes. yes. It looks so cute. But I saw the dice. I did yes. see the dice. Yes. Now, after it comes out for pre-release mm -hmm. at Gen Con, then a little bit later, it's going to come mm -hmm. out for wide release. So yes. I'm excited to check it out. Definitely, yes. definitely. So we're so excited and so happy yes. to have these awesome sponsors. Awesome! <laughs> yes! So next up, we have Ask, Ask or PG. What questions do we have? All right, we 
got two of them. Okay. One's kind of crazy, but the mm -hmm. other one is from our OFPG Voices contributor and family, Roller Reggie. Oh, hey, yeah, Reggie. From UD. That's so awesome. He asked, okay. Love you, Reggie. What's up? <laughs> now, he asked, What do you think of Board Game Awards, mm -hmm. i.e., the Spill de Jars, mm -hmm. Golden Geek from BGG, and the Dice Tower Awards? Okay. Yes, that was his first one. Okay. So I don't have a problem with them. Mm -hmm. I think they kind of tell you in the different categories what you know, like best art, mm -hmm. best you know, uh, you know, component, something like that. So yeah. you know, it kind of gives you like who, and then the game of the year. They kind of give you you know like what's going on, who's hot, who's not, mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. Now the one thing I do have kind of a, a beef about is the spill the jars. Mm -hmm. That's mainly a German, you know. You know, award. Mm -hmm. You know, with games that come out in Germany, okay. and sometimes they miss the mark on different, mm -hmm. you know, games that might be really, really good. Mm -hmm. And then some of the games they pick, you go like, really? Mm -hmm. So, I think Spill the Jars, you know, might be falling on the wayside a little bit. It's still known because that's the big thing, you know, Germany and all that. Yeah. But I think I, I look toward, you know, the Dice Tower and you know, Board Game Geek Awards, mm -hmm. the Golden Geek a little bit more, cause you know, they they, they encompass all the games, mm -hmm. you know, so like that. Well, I yeah. mean, I, I like having awards because, yeah. you know, publishers and designers, they work really hard. Yes, they do. You know, sometimes years yeah. to put a game together and they have artists like Beth Sobel, you know, putting all their talent yes. into these games. And I think those games should be recognized for what they bring to the hobby. Yes. So I yes. think that's important. And I like that we have a variety of awards. Yes, we do. You know, even beyond BGG yeah. and the Dice Tower, there are other people who give out awards. Yeah, Origins, you know, yeah. Origins give out awards and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So, so yeah. I think it's great. Yeah, so now the next one he uh, he asked on that, what Reggie asked, he said, and what categories might you add for nominations? Now they got, mm -hmm. you know, best two player games, best, you know, expansions. Mm -hmm. So for me, they probably got all of them that we need. No, you know. there's one that's what, 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 what? Cutest game. The cutest you would game. have to come yes. out with that because it's like you know when they did when Cat in the Box came out. Yes. See the little cat on the no, box could have won. It, no, it's an evil little game. cat. It's evil. It's not gonna win nothing. So I think we need to have that a little cat back there is evil. I he's evil. Look out! He's just staring at you. That has cutest game. Oh God. Okay, we're just gonna move on. <laughs> cutest. Game. Cutest game. Well, you know, another one, I, I thought of one. The rule book. The best rule book. Yes. Yes. Most accessible yes. rule book. Yes. That needs to be on there. I totally agree. Yes. Totally. You know, rule books need to be talked about. I agree. Yes. I was there. <laughs> Reggie, thank you so much for Good that question. question. <laughs> yeah, love you now. I love you. Now, the next one, uh -huh. we're just going to have to roll into this one. Oh. Now, it's from Shane Bennett. Okay, hey, Shane. YouTube. Hey, Shane. Here we go. Mm. Can you get, uh, can we get a review of your favorite game, Flip Space. Oh. Now, let me tell you, Flip Space is a made up game family. But it's, it's not real, It's Shane. not real, it's not, not real. real. Yeah, I think you know. <laughs> but but the thing is, is that it's a video collaboration yeah. we did with the Dragon Tombs uh, mm -hmm. YouTube channel. They invited us on to do, you know, they invited a lot of yeah. content creators to do kind of like a fake game, your number one game, yeah. which was really fake and just come up with something for that. The video is named Every Board Game YouTuber's Number One Ranked Game. Now, it's a little joke about the every because he didn't get everybody. It wasn't everybody. But he just kind of threw it out <laughs> yeah. there. But it was a really fun time. Yeah. Check out the video. But the one that Starla came up, now Starla came up with it, y'all. It was called Flip Space. Now, what was Flip Space supposed now, to be about? Flip Space, now, after you know the video came out, I was like, "Oh man, I could have been funnier with the yeah, title." Yeah, it could have been a little funny. Right, but flip space. The whole premise was you've got this room in your house, and yes. you're gonna flip it. You're gonna change it to something else. So with that, you need a hammer and nails and glue and all this other stuff. And we were talking about how dangerous the game is because yes. you may hit your uh, hand with a hammer. And after I, we put, the video came out, I told Mick we should have called it Hammer Time. Hammer Time. Hammer Time. We're gonna do Hammer Time <laughs> because you're hitting your hand with the hammer or hitting the nails. With the hammer so I mean it was an interesting way to do things you know kind of fun to play with games and how these games have different components but our game had a hammer yes. and nails and you could hurt yourself so that's why we told you to get a first aid kit yes <laughs> and what, what Hammer said don't touch this <laughs> don't you know don't, don't touch no, it no, can't touch don't no, can't touch it <laughs> can't touch it because you're gonna get hurt Yes. You know, but it was it was a fun time. It, yes. it was a fun time to do Flip that. So. Space is not real. It's not real. It is made up. Don't hurt yourself because you <laughs> might get exist. hurt. 
but it, it was fun. Yeah. It's fun. But I think it came from all those times we've been looking at HGTV, HGTV. and all mm-hmm. that stuff, looking yeah. at all those home mm-hmm. makeover things that we used to watch. But yeah. yeah. So that was fun to do. So thank you, uh, yes. Shane, for that question. Uh, yes. yes. And Dragon Tomb, we had fun. Yes. Thanks we for did. having us on. Yes. And that's, that's all I got. <laughs> that's it. That's it. So next we have some board game news. Let's go. Mick, what's in the news this week? Uh, that's all I'm going to do. Because I'm going to tell you wh- why I did that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> because it's award season. Award season. It's award season, season and okay. nominees are just coming all over the place. Okay. So we're going to celebrate nominees to different awards. Okay. Kind of going back on what uh, Roland Reggie said yes. in, in Ask or PG. Okay. All right. So now the 2022 Dice Tower Award nominees were just announced recently. And there are several categories that they come out with, mm-hmm. but I'm just going to give you the top prize for the, uh, you know, the game of the year okay. and all those nominees. Okay. Now, and then we'll just talk about it a little okay. bit. Okay. Now, here's their game of the year uh, nominees. It's Blood on the Clock Tower. Okay. I don't know nothing about that one. I know a little bit, but it's kind of, you know, we don't, we don't have that. Endless Winter. Mm-hmm. All right. So we know that one. Yes. Yes. Flamecraft. Yes. All right. Then Foundations of Rome. Okay. We haven't played that haven't one. Played we haven't it. played that mm-hmm. one. Heat. Pedal yes. to the metal. Heat. Then Planet Unknown. Mm-hmm. Now I do want to play that one. I've heard some good things about that one. Ready, set, bet. Mm-hmm. Now a lot of people really like that as a party game. Okay. They, they do. And then Return to Dark Tower. Mm. We don't have that one, but mm-hmm. a lot of people like it. It's, it's a game that they remade from the 90s. Yeah. And then uh, Wayfarers of the South. Tigris. Okay. So we haven't had that one yet. And then Wonderland's War. Wonderland's War. So out of those, I think the two that my personal opinion, uh-huh. that I think the two that might be kind of up for it is Heat and Wonderland's War. Mm. I'm thinking so. I'm thinking. That, those I have are, to agree with you. Those yeah. are really hot games. Those are hot but games. But I mean, we haven't played some of them. Yeah. So in other people's mind, the ones we haven't played could, could be hot. A lot of people like Planet Unknown. Yeah. A lot of people like yeah, that Yeah, but one, we so. played some of them. And yes. then out of those, I think you're right. I think yeah. it's Heat, Heat and Wonderland's, Wonderland's War. War. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking. Because, you know, Heat was on the hotness for a yes. long time. Yes, long. It, it never moved. Yeah. So, yeah. So I think that's that's going to be pretty good there. Mm-hmm. So that was for the Dice Tower, mm-hmm. uh, the Dice Tower Awards. Okay. The now, BGG, uh-huh. Board Game Geek, recently announced the 2022 nominees for their annual Golden Geek Awards. Okay. They've been doing this for 17 years. Yes. And they have a bunch of categories, too. I mean, a whole bunch mm-hmm. of them. Even all the way down to podcaster. <laughs> the best podcaster. Now, here are the nominees, though, for Game of the Year for Light, Medium, and Heavy. Okay. So, is this going to be a little bit? It's going to be a little bit. Okay, for Light Game of the Year is Acropolis. I love. Yes. Yes. Cat in the Box Deluxe Edition. I don't know how that's Super like. Love. I don't know how that's like. Uh, Challengers. Okay. Yes, Challengers. Mm-hmm. And then this one is Dofromantic. The board game is really a video game where you're laying tiles out, mm. but decide to make a board game. Okay, I, I don't know, know if that one, not, not my I played that one. Don't okay, know. here we go again. Foundations of Rome. Okay, that's light. That's light. Well, it's kind of light. They say it's kind of mm. gateway. It's kind of okay. gateway. Long Shot the Dice Game, Okay. which is not bad. Now, mm. you are not a fan, but mm. you know, I'm, mm. I like it, I like it. Mind Bug, First Contact, mm. Next Station London, mm-hmm. Ready, Set, Bet again. Mm-hmm. Real Window, that's mm-hmm. from Funko, that's mm-hmm. Funko. Okay. And then Sea, Salt, and Pepper, okay. a little card game. Mm-hmm. And then Splendor Duel, yes. how's that light? It's, it's light. It's light? Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Light. And then Trekking Through History, mm. so I heard a lot about that. Yes. Then we have Medium Game of the Year, okay. is Ottawa, mm-hmm. Blood on the Clock Tower, mm. Clank Catacombs, I can see that, First Rat, yes. Flame Craft, the Guild of Merchant Explorers, mm-hmm. Heat Pedal to the Metal. Yes, again. Lacrimosa, I love it. Okay, love it. Okay. Libertalia, Winds of Galecrest. Uh-huh. Uh, Mosaic, A Story of Civilization. Mm. Oh, really? That's medium? Okay, mm-hmm. we'll just go with it. Mm-hmm. Planet Unknown. Mm-hmm. 
Wonderland's War. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's 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 medium. Yeah. Definitely. That's me. That's that's that's, that's, that, that's what medium. Yeah, yeah, that's that's some good. Yeah. That's some hard. Yeah. That's a hard choice there. Yeah, we played a lot of those. Yeah, we played that's a lot good. of those. Yeah. Now, here's the heavy game of oh, the year. Heavy. Okay. Uh, this is Eon Trespass Odyssey. Mm -hmm. Carnegie. Mm -hmm. I really like Carnegie. Mm -hmm. Dead Reckoning. Heavy. That's questionable. Yeah. Endless Winter. Endless Winter. That's not that heavy. It's a lot. Going it's a it's on. a I mean, lot. I mean, there are so but it's many not things. Heavy. I, I think it's heavy because there's so many things you have to consider mm. when you're making a turn. It's, there's a lot going on. With that now game. here's another one. Mm -hmm. Great Western Trails, Argentina. That wasn't heavy. Well, it wasn't heavy to us. Yeah, that is true. That is so, true. So yeah, that is true. Yeah, I, I think it's heavy. Okay, mm -hmm. John Company Second Edition. Now that is a heavy game. We you, you won't be playing I that. I haven't played that. Revive. Okay. Now that's one that I've been trying to get and look at. They a lot of people love that yeah. one. Talatham. Mm -hmm. Now we love Talatham. Yes. And but I guess it's heavy. It, it would is. be. It's, it's, for, it's for, heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Okay. Uh, Marrakesh. Marrakesh. Now we love some Marrakesh, but I don't see it as heavy. Yeah. It's a lot going on. Yeah, but that's what makes it heavy, though. There's so much you have to contend with. I, I, I think I'm it's bothered heavy. about that heavy no, on these heavy. games. I think it's heavy. Okay. I right. agree with It's you. a lot going on because you got like maybe about yeah. seven games that you're playing within one game. <laughs> exactly. You know, but but it's a fun game. It's a yes. fun game. And then you have Wayfarers of the South Tigris. Okay. Weather Machine mm -hmm. from, uh, the, now that is hard. Mm. That's hard. Haven't played it yet. It's from Vi uh, uh, Vital Lacerda. Mm -hmm. So oh, that is hard. Yes. That's hard. We met him. Yes. That's hard. Yes. And then a uh, Woodcraft. Now, come on, Star. That's okay. not that hard. It may not be. Again, That's Woodcraft. We play a lot. Yes, we do. But I, I think somebody who is not quite as experienced with games as we yeah. are, yeah. it could be considered hard. Woodcraft was a lot of work. It's a lot of work now. Okay, so. It's a lot of work. Now, now, to me, I think it's more work than fun. You know, and yeah. I I didn't really get you know connected to Woodcraft. Mm -hmm. Sorry, family, but I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. But it's cool. I can yeah. play it. If somebody said, "Hey, you want to come play Woodcraft?" Yeah, I'll play, play it. it. Yeah. You know, Carnegie. That is kind of hard. Mm. So I do see it. It's in this. You know, the heavy category. Mm -hmm. You know, now Endless Winter. I'm still kind of debating on that one. Yeah. So yeah. So that's cool. But that's BGG's. You know. Okay. Uh, 2022 nominees for light, medium, and heavy gamers of the year. Okay, yes, some good yes, games. Yes. Now, the last thing, okay. last thing, another right. award. Okay, uh, the uh, the Mensa Group. Yes. Now you know the Mensa Group. Those are yes. smart folk. Smart That's people. smart folk that put out <laughs> stuff. Now they announced their 2023 winners for games. Mm -hmm. They call it the the Mensa Select. Mm -hmm. Now every year, each year, hundreds of Messinians or whatever mm -hmm. they call them meet over one weekend to play and rate the year's newest board game. Hmm. The top five games earned the Mensa Select dis uh, distinction and may display the Mensa Select seal on their packaging. Wow. Yes, so these are the five that they did pick. Hmm. Acropolis. Yes, that's a yes, good one. That is a that good is one. That is a good game. That's good. Boop. Now, I've heard oh, a lot about yes. Boop. We've heard a lot we about Boop. We gotta play it. We gotta play it. We heard a lot about Boop. You know, knocking cats off of, you know, the little uh, blankets, the blankets or, yeah. and stuff. So we definitely, <laughs> I wanna check that out. Yeah. It's a two player game, so I mm -hmm. definitely wanna check it out. And then Garden Bow. Remember that one? Oh, yeah. From 25th Century? Uh -huh. That's yes. a good one, too. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, then the next one, uh, the next two is Millie Ferroni. Millie Fiori. Fiori. God, why well, keep <laughs> It's Millie Fiori. Fiori. Now, that is a fun one. Yes, it's it is. It's a point salad. And we were lucky because we were playing two player. Mm -hmm. I didn't kind of like the two player mm -hmm. variant of it, but we were able to play with Grant Lyon yeah. at Gamers Ranch. And it was a three player. And I really yes. enjoyed it when it's more than yeah. two players. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. So that was a good one. And that's from Rhina Knizia. Yes. The course. evil bow tie man. Of course. Yes. And then the last one. Trekking through history. Wow. Now we gotta play that because a lot of people, people like talk that. About one. It all the yes, time. We yes. don't have it yet. We don't have it, so we definitely yeah. gotta try to get that. Yeah. So those are the five. Good games. Very My good goodness. games. Yes. Very good games. So what do you got, Star? That's all for me. All right. So if you have not checked out the latest episode of yes. OSPG Voices, yes. I don't know what you're waiting for. Go check it out. And next week. We have another episode coming out, mm -hmm. and we have somebody new coming Ooh, on. Oh, yeah. Be sure to yes. check it out. Yes, 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 yes. So May 3rd, we'll have another episode. That'll be episode 33 okay. coming out. And then 
we were on the Board Game Geeks, well not were, we are. We are. On the we Board are. Game Geeks yes. YouTube channel. Yes. And so every month we're gonna be doing a top five. We're gonna pick five family games from their family game ranking list. Yes. And put out there as recommendations for you and your family to play. So we've already done our April list. Yes. And we're gonna have our May list coming out in a few weeks. So be sure to check us out on the Board Game Geek YouTube channel. Cause I think it's so cool. Cause it's games that you probably don't even know about yeah. or you forgot about, mm -hmm. but we're gonna let you know. Yeah, and we're not gonna limit ourselves to the top 100. No. We're going through the whole list. Whole we're gonna find list. a few games that we think you should try out. Yes. And hopefully you'll get a chance to do that between when we tell you about the list and the next month when we come out. Definitely, you can kind definitely. of you know, leave us a comment and tell us if you put it on the table. Yes, And we're yes. also on the Board Game Geek website. Too. Yes, for a while. Yeah. That's really cool. So I hope you guys had a chance to check it out. Yes. Yes. And then this past week, too, okay. an interview came out. We were interviewed by the Ramos Law Firm. They have a program, it's a podcast mm -hmm. called Difference Makers. Yes. And we were interviewed by Dr. Jim Hoven. And it was a lot of fun. Yes. Uh, he asked about board games. Um, they have a girl that works for them who actually used to live in Omaha, who met us here in Omaha. And she is so excited. She moved to Colorado. Yes. Started working for this law firm. Yes. She loved what we do. She told them about it. So they contacted us and said, hey, we want to interview you. And they've also added board games, a board game night to their staff time. Yeah. Because of what we do. She loves what we do so much that her and another co-worker got together and they're doing board games. So if you haven't checked out that interview, please do so. We put it on our social media. Check it out. It's Difference Makers with the Ramos Law Firm. All right, that's it for me. So I guess we're going into the heart of the episode. Let's do this, family. All right, the yes. heart of the episode. Yes, yes. We wanted to kind of do a recap on our gaming event. It, which was, oh, it was it was so good. It, it, was it so really good. was. I mean, every time yes. we do one, this is the fourth one we've done. The fourth one, and I think the yeah. best one. It's the best one. It's yeah. growing. Yes. It is growing. Yes. And we can see the difference. Yes. Because this time, the room that we usually use was completely full. It, it, it was, it was, Everybody was playing. Yeah. It was, it was, it was a lot of stuff and going on. And then we on. had people yes. out in the hall area. Yes. Because we had tables out yes, there. Yes, we did. But we actually utilized those tables for gaming. And we want to thank the Urban League of Nebraska mm -hmm. for inviting us in. Yes. And, you know, we partnered with the House of Afro Capes and Curls. Mm -hmm. And then also the big thing is that Matt of the Board Game Wagon brought his yes. his game library in. And we want to thank all of them. Yes. It was a great time. Yeah, Matt, and then he also had his wife there. Yes. And then Nate and Melissa and Lynette, they always come out to help. Yes. We appreciate you guys appreciate so much appreciate for helping them. make our game nights successful. Yes. And it's all of our game nights because we're all in Omaha and we just enjoy playing games, so we really appreciate that. But I was just so happy with the people that showed up. Oh, now, it, was, it was people there. It was there. People were there early, they were ready there. to play. Yeah, we were late. Oh, it was great. <laughs> we were it was there great. When we got there. It was great. Uh, but there's one lady I want to mention, mm -hmm. uh, Patricia. Yes. Now, Patricia saw our videos on YouTube, and mm -hmm. she decided to email us. And we've talked to her via email. She asked us some questions about Catan, etc. Yes. And then she saw that we were having a game night. And Patricia said she wanted to come. And she wasn't sure if she'd make it because mm -hmm. she didn't want to drive so far at yes. night or whatever. Because she's on a farm. Yeah, she's on a farm. Farm. And, and we told her, you know, it's going to be kind of early because it starts at 5 o'clock. I said, you don't have to stay the whole time. Yeah. Just come out and have some fun. Yes. And lo and behold, Patricia made it. She made it. And she told a friend, and her friend made it. Yes, her friend beat her. <laughs> she did. Her friend beat her. Yes. So it was great to see Patricia there and yes. meet her for the first time. And then her friend Sharon was there. I played with such awesome people. It, it, it was just a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. and, and you talk about building community. Uh -huh. It was diverse, mm -hmm. inclusive. Yes. It was just everybody there. And it was just, it was yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It was so, so beautiful. And we played some games we now. We played some games. Played some games. And so when we talk about building community, this is what we're talking yes. about. Bringing people together from all walks of life just sitting down at the table, playing games together. Yes, and and yeah. I do want to throw out, thank you, Taylor mm -hmm. Johnson. She's a, a anchor for WOWT mm -hmm. Channel 6 here in uh, Omaha. Yes. She was there she on her break. She said she was going to come. She said, and she and came. And she showed up. And played the game. And played the game. Yes. And then she went on to work. Yes, she went on to work. <laughs> she said, I know. She's like, hey, report that news. Yeah. But we were so glad to see her, and, and we, we love her. Yeah, we love and her. even yes. the Omaha Star, a local newspaper in North Omaha came out too. So yes, it was it was a it was a full night. Yeah, it was a full night. I think the words 
just getting around. Yes, it is. That we're doing these game nights yes, every quarter. I mean, I would love to do them monthly, but quarterly is about all we can do with all the other stuff we yes. do. But people are looking forward to it. Yes. And I mean, just thinking about where we started last year. Yes. To where we are today. And, and it's, 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 it's growing. It's and, growing. And it was, it was a packed house, and I love it. I do, too. Now, you played, your, now, some of the games we played, mm -hmm. and I think we got all the games we played, yes. is Enchanted Plumes. Yes. By Calliope Games. You know Starla had to put that on tape. Well, you know, the ladies I was had playing to. with, you know, I wanted to introduce this game to them. They had yes. never played it. Yes. Um, and since it was one of my number one picks, you know, I had to put it on the I table. I think it was 2021. 21. Yes. And we played it twice. Because the first time was just a teaching game. It was a teaching game. And I was like, oh, we're trying to learn it. And then after we went through the first game, one of the ladies said, well, can we play it again? I'm like, sure. Let's play and it again. And then Marcus Ross, a local designer mm -hmm. here in Omaha. You, you know you know Marcus, Marcus Ross. You know, all the time. He was playing Enchanted Plumes yeah. on another table. Well, it was so funny. We had so many yeah. people that wanted to play it. And I was like, oh, how many does the game play? And then Marcus said, I have a copy. So he, he had a group. He, copy. Was, he was teaching a group to play. I had a group that I was teaching to play. So we had Enchanted Plumes on two tables. And just playing it. Mm -hmm. Just playing it. So that was, that was really cool there. Yes. And, and then, then and after then, that. Yeah, what did y'all play? Then after that, we played Ticket to Ride, North okay. America. Yes. And these the ladies had never played it. Yes. So I got a chance to teach Ticket to Ride and play with them. That's and cool. Had a lot of fun with that. that. that they enjoyed cool. it immensely. And even Patricia, it started to get dark. And she didn't know if she could stay the whole time, but she stayed to the end. She did. She stayed to she the did. end. She yeah. did. Now, Marcus took some folk out into the other room uh -huh. and they played Were Words. Were Words. Were Words <laughs> from Beziac Games. I don't know much about that mm -hmm. one, but they did take it out there. And, and it's kind of like with were, yeah. Werewolf, but with, with were Words. words. Mm -hmm. So that was pretty cool that they did that. Yeah. Now, I played with some college students from the University of Nebraska, Omaha, and, and mm -hmm. we played Downforce. Yes. They never knew nothing about that. And they're like, what? And I showed them Downforce. They loved it. Loved it. You know, Downforce mm -hmm. is just a racing betting game. Mm -hmm. It is a great game where you're using cars to move the cars around mm -hmm. the track. And it's a really fun game, yeah. and they loved it. And I think one of them was going to go get it. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that was that was a good thing. I love yeah. that. Now, so, another game that was played was Just One. And they played that a yes, lot. Yes, Just One is from Repost yeah. Games. They loved it. That's the one that Taylor had a chance to play yes. with Jim yes. and Mary. Jim and Mary come to all of our games. We love them. Love them. That's RPG family. And they are so yes. sweet because when Taylor came in, it was like she didn't know where to go play. And I think it was Mary said, hey, we got a spot over here. Yeah, she and took we, them. She took uh, Taylor yeah. in and they started playing and we had a table full of people playing. But we had a lot of RPG family there. Yes, we did. We did. We, we really did. did. We had a good one. Mm -hmm. But they did play just one and they had a good time with yeah. that one. And I think Jade, uh, Julia... And then uh, I think Nikki, yeah. they played uh, Paperback. Yes. They played Paperback. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Paperback was played. Now, mm -hmm. I, I never played Paperback yeah, before, but I definitely want to. Yeah. It seemed interesting, you know, just making yes. words up and playing mm -hmm. with, you know, with the letters they and stuff. They seemed to like it. They liked it. Mm -hmm. So that, that was good. Yeah. Now, I had the opportunity. Uh, Marcus brought Raw from 25th Century Games, mm -hmm. from Ryan Akinizia, the evil bow tie man. <laughs> He brought the deluxe Pharaoh's Pharaoh edition, edition <laughs> of the new Raw that yeah. 25th Century rebooted, and it was it's just beautiful. It's yes. beautiful. And But this was my first time playing Raw. Mm -hmm. I think you would love it. I think you would really yeah, like it. I didn't it, get but a chance to play. I yeah. was talking with people. You know, I was with yeah. Nate, Melissa, and Marcus. Mm -hmm. We played, and it was so much fun. We played it. Mm -hmm. It was really cool. I came in second place. Yeah. And it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I came over and took a picture of them yes. playing the game. But yes. uh, other than that, I was talking to people that you know were getting ready to go because it was getting late. Yeah. And yeah. they decided to pull Raw out yes. like at the last forty five minutes. But we of played our it though. Night. We played it. So we were supposed to be out by ten. Yes. We didn't get out by ten because they were playing and scoring. But and all but it's that a stuff. cool game. It's not that it's not that long. Yeah. Because you basically it's a lot of bidding. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of bidding, a lot of auction mm -hmm. and and drafting. You know tiles. Yeah. And and it was it's a really fun game. It looked game. interesting. It's a really fun game. Yeah, I got game. a chance to look at it yes. a little bit, but yeah, of course I didn't get a chance to play it. I was like I said, I was talking and, and yes. taking pictures, but it did look like a lot but of fun. But it's a Dr. K Dr. Kinencia. Mm -hmm. He did his thing, you know, so I really did like that and I do yeah. do wanna look forward to maybe getting it one of these yeah. days. Yeah. And it was, it was cool. another group of people playing uh, Glitch Squad. Yes. And that's from uh, Resonum Games. That's their newest one yeah. after they did Phantom yeah. Ink. I almost had a Glitch Squad. You know, glitch yes, <laughs> yes. So they did Phantom Ink and then this is their new one, Glitch Squad. Mm -hmm. You know, another party game. Another party so, game. So, yeah, another party game. And yes. then we had Tim Poor, uh, a Tim Poor 
Ah. Yes. It was a little cats. A little cat. Yeah. It, yeah. <laughs> what Lynetta uh, had the uh, college kids out there mm -hmm. and she was playing it with mm -hmm. them. She said it was kind of like a Uno type game. Mm -hmm. You know, a little bit more, yeah. more going for it than yeah. Uno, but it, it seemed like a really cool little yeah. card game, a little card game to play. And, and that's from fun. ILO Games, and it's got cats yes. on it, so they did a, yes. a play on the words tempura. And tempura, and yeah. Instead of yeah. tempura, uh, I guess it is. And what's the, <laughs> it was the crazy thing, those college kids were playing that like about four or five times. They loved it. They loved it. They just kept playing it, so that, yeah. they'll probably get that too. But it just goes to show we have so much work to do in yes. this hobby. Because these games need to be played. You know, yes. designers and artists and publishers are not putting these games together for them to just sit on the shelf for the lucky few. But they the, want a lot of people yeah. to play their games, so people have to be introduced. Yes. And that's what we're doing. We're building this community so each one can reach one. So like Patricia brought her friend. We had another lady, and I cannot remember her name right now. She's a teacher at UNO, and she came back again for a game night. And brought somebody and with brought her. somebody with her. So yes. each one reach one. Tell a friend. Tell tell your neighbor, you know, I'm going to a game night. Why don't you come try it out if you like board games? Again, we're not going to push board games on anyone, but the people that came were people who were curious and wanted to learn and wanted to be uh, enlightened by the hobby. So now, when we put something out there, family, and if you're in the Omaha area, you better come. Come on out. Better come on out. Come, come on, out. on out. Now, the last thing that was played, it was a prototype. Yeah. From, and what is it called? Um, it is uh, Cretaceous Rails. Yes, and, and there's Alec Wolf. He is mm. the uh, publisher who, and his company's called Spillcraft Games yeah. here in Omaha. In Omaha yes, yeah. here in mm -hmm. Omaha. Yeah, he contacted us. He said, yes. can I bring my prototype? I said, yeah. We, well, Mick said, yeah, come on, bring it out so people can play it. He yes. had a group of people playing his prototype. Yeah, and he did two prototypes. Yeah. I don't know what the mm -hmm. second one was, but he did one. But he just he said he had a ball. He thanked yeah. us, you know, like he can't wait for the next one. Mm -hmm. And that's cool. So, yeah. You know, a local, you know, publishing company, you know, mm -hmm. showing off their games. Yeah that hopefully they'll come out one day, yeah. and that, that was really cool. Yeah, so I mean, I hope we didn't miss any games. Those are the ones that we can yes. actually record, and we remember seeing people play them, but there was so much fun to be had. Yes, and you would was. think, you know, from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., oh, that's a long time. It is not. It was just flying by. Yeah, when you start playing it games, next thing by. you know, three hours are gone. It's like, what the, where did the time go? Because I was having fun. Yes. But, Time flies yes. when you're having fun. But it was so glad, just the diversity yes. that you saw. It just it just warmed my heart mm -hmm. that it was so much diversity. And yes. that's what I want to see all the time with mm -hmm. our board games. Because, yes. you know, usually we go out there, we ain't seeing that. <laughs> you now, you know, fam, we ain't yeah. seeing that. Yeah. But for this one, mm -hmm. it was so just yeah. refreshing. It was. And it just made my heart just explode to see yes. that diversity in that mm -hmm. room. People yeah. just coming out to have a good time. Yes. I mean, we have so much stress in our lives. Yes, you know, we do. Work and family yes. and just yes. living day to day the with all craziness the crazy. Of this world. Your favorite word, crazy. All the crazy. craziness that's going on. Crazy. To be able to sit down and just have fun with some people, playing some games, laughing. That is just so rewarding. I, I just, I, I appreciate that yes, so much. Yes, I yeah. appreciate that. So mm -hmm. we had a good time. We did. It was fun. So I, I, I can't wait to do it again. Me too. Yes, yes, So yes. that is a recap of our last game night that we had. And our topic about that is that we are building community always. Always family. Yes. And let's keep on doing it. Now, if we can do it, you, you can guys do can do it too. Yes. You can do it too. You can do it in your area. Yes. Do the same thing. Yes. And if you need a little help, a little some suggestions, you know, Contact let us know. Us. Contact yes. us, you know. But I want to know in the comments how you guys can build community. Yes. Let us know. Yes. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, Mick. What did we get this week? Ooh, something beautiful. Something beautiful. What, Mick? Yes. I have a what did we get? What you get? Well, okay. At our game night, yes. A few people came, and it was the first time they came to one of our game nights, mm -hmm. and that was Kim, Crystal, and Amanda. Yes. Yes. And Crystal brought us a beautiful coin, and it has you probably can't see it, but it has the Monte Carlo on it. From Las Vegas. From Las Vegas. Yes. She had watched our show. She, she's all, she's she, family she's now. She's family. She's family. And she's family. She's, she heard us say that we got married at the Monte Carlo. Yes. Then she also heard us say that it's no longer there. She Gone. knew it was not there anymore. And how sad we were that the Monte Carlo wasn't there. Yeah. So she ordered this coin for us that has the Monte Carlo on Love it. Love it. And it has Starla, the back. Starla almost cried. It was so touching. I, I was so touched by 
someone being so thoughtful mm -hmm. that they thought about us enough to do something this sentimental. And I just want to say again, thank you so much, Crystal, yes. for just being a nice person and a good yes. human and bringing this for us. We really appreciate it. Really? We will cherish this because the hotel where we got married is no longer there. And this will be something that we can use to remember it by. So thank you so much for giving us that. Yes. Now the hotel is still there. Just the name is gone. Well, the building is there. The building is yeah, there. Yeah, the hotel is gone. The yeah. whole flair of the Monte Carlo the is gone. The whole flair is gone. That's gone. gone. Yeah. But, but now we still have something to treasure. We have something thank to treasure. Thank you so much, Crystal. Thank you so love much. You. Yes. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Now, this is what we got. Okay. Now, Catan. Mm -hmm. Katun Studios did a kind of co collab mm -hmm. with a video game that's a little crazy. Okay. And it's called Goat Simulator 3. Mm -hmm. Now, the Goat Simulator, you know, video game series is a little crazy. Where it's this little, it's this goat that with his tongue out, and they kind of thought you can throw them around and do some crazy things with them in, you know, a goat simulator. You simulate a goat. Yes, I tell you, it's, okay. it's weird. But, so... Katan decided to, you know, you know, do a collab with mm -hmm. them, and now they are in. Now, the sheet for Katan is in Goat Simulator Three, and then now Goat Simulator Three's goat is gonna be in Katan with oh, a cards. Okay, they have yes, cards with for cards. Goats. Yes, with the card with the little tongue on them. Yes. Okay. So you can replace this in your Katan game with not the regular sheep, but now with the goat simulator three goats. Oh, okay. Yeah, you got goats. Okay. Yeah, and you can put the sheeps in with the goats. Okay. And in the video game. Okay. Yes, it's kind of crazy. It sounds crazy. It is crazy, it sounds but crazy. it's cool though, it's cool. All right, I'm gonna keep the sheep. <laughs> Instead of goats. I'm gonna keep the sheep. You don't want the goats? No. Yeah, well, that's I'm cool. gonna keep the sheep. But we do always have the goats. Okay. Yes, yes, All so right. you can take that. All so right. thank you, Katana Studios, thank for that. Thank you. <laughs> now, this one is really, really cool. Okay. And we just got this in. Everybody's been talking about this. Mm -hmm. It's a really cool thing, and this is Steam Up. A Feast of Dim Song, yes. and it's the deluxe edition. Thank you for, you know, KTBG yeah. is kind of like the, you know, distributor here in, you know, the North America mm -hmm. for this, and thank you for them for, you know, Send sending us, us yeah, our way, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Hot Banana, they contacted us too, so yeah. thank you for them too, but this is a really cool game. A lot of people are talking about this, mm -hmm. how it's so cool, mm -hmm. and, and it really, this is kind of what we want. We want diverse stories, mm -hmm. and this is a diverse stories about, you know, the Asian, you know, culture, mm -hmm. and their love of dim song, and I, I love that. Yes. You know, and I hope to see more stories about that soon. Oh, wow. And, and it's it's really, really cool. Oh my goodness. Really cool. I can't wait to look I at it. I cannot wait you know, to I've open it up. I've never done dim sum. Yes, we have uh, never done dim sum. We've talked about it, song. but we've never gone. But I think this is going to encourage us to yes. see if they have any dim sum in Omaha. Well, we, you know, I did look it up <laughs> and I saw a few places that oh, okay. we're going to have to do. Okay. Because, you know, I don't know why. We were in like, we, we lived in Seattle. Yes, yeah, Seattle. There's I a, mean, it's a huge of... Asian population there. And we never And there's did this it. one restaurant that's yes. called House of Home. Yes. Wonderful food. Yes. And they have a dim sum uh, it's a buffet. Service. It's yes, a buffet. A service. Yes. And we never got a chance to go. Never and we would talk about going and we would never go. Yes. And now I regret that we didn't do we, it. I regret yeah, it. House of Pong. But this uh, makes us kind of like, hey, we're going to play the game, mm -hmm. steam up, and then we're going to have to find yeah. us a dim song place. Yeah, this looks gonna, beautiful. I can't wait till we open I, we the cannot. box. We cannot. Thank you so much check again. It out. So thank you. We definitely. But that's yeah. all I got. That's it? That's the beautiful one, though. Yeah, it's a it deluxe is. edition, so I'm ready. I'm ready. can't wait. Yes, yes. But that's it. Now, Stalin. Mm hmm. What about our merch? Now, I know I'm wearing, <laughs> you know, the great Tupac, the great one, yeah. but we do have good yeah, that's, merch that's out there. That's not our merch. No, that's not our merch. <laughs> but right, if you're merch. looking for a shirt or a cup or a pillow or a poster, yes. check us out on Spring. Yes, yes. Please check us out. Now, Starla, mm -hmm. you have asked mm -hmm. that we make 30,000 subscribers for our channel. Yes. But if they want to spread the word, and they gotta tell them where we are. Where are we? Where can we? They find RPG out there. Well, if you're looking for our family plays games, yes, you can find us on Facebook, uh -huh. Instagram, yes. Twitter, yes, right here on YouTube, right here, and we're on TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. 
And if you're in Omaha, Nebraska. That's local family. You can find us on Cox Channel 22. Yep. Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. And Tuesdays at 4.30 p.m. Hey, family, thank you so much for coming by and checking out what we had to say. Hey, if you have any questions or comments, definitely put it down below and we'll get with you. You know we always love to hear from you. And also, if you have any Ask RPG questions, bring it on. We want to talk about it. But there's one thing, family, one thing we want you to always know. We love you. Bye, Bye now. Bye, everybody.